Ladies and gentlemen, artificial intelligence is putting massive strain on the U.S. power grid, and it should come as no surprise as AI tech firms are building data centers at record pace to keep up with the insatiable demand of AI. Now, today I've got an interesting article to share with you guys from the Washington Post on how AI is exhausting the power grid and how the tech firms are seeking a miracle solution to it all. Now, let's read part of this article. As the tech giants compete in a global AI arms race, a frenzy of data centers construction is sweeping the country. Some computing campuses require as much energy as a modest-sized city, turning tech firms that promise to lead the way into a clean energy future into some of the world's most insatiable guzzlers of power. Their projected energy needs are so huge, some worry that there will, that there will not be enough electricity to meet them from any other source. Data centers, the nondescript warehouses packed with racks of servers that power the modern internet, have been around for decades, but the amount of electricity they now need is soaring because of artificial intelligence. Training AI models and using AI to execute even simple tasks involves ever more complicated, faster, and voluminous uh, computations that are straining the electricity system. A ChatGPT-powered search, according to the International Energy Agency, consumes almost 10 times the amount of electricity as a search on Google. One large data center in, uh, in Iowa own, owned by Meta, formerly, uh, formerly Facebook, burns the annual equivalent amount as of uh, 7 million laptops running 8 hours every day based on data shared by the company. Now that is absolutely insane. And it really uh, shouldn't be any surprise to anyone because these tech companies are pretty much just flying towards uh, trying to compete against each other for the best artificial intelligence that they can possibly have. And the reason is because they're trying to exploit the power of artificial intelligence for profit. I mean, you look at the uh, ability of what AI has, I think most everyone has a pretty decent idea of uh, the the capabilities of AI long term, whether you look at medicine, military, robotics, self-driving cars, these are multi-trillion dollar markets that will make a lot of people very rich. So therefore, there's a lot of these tech firms and investors pushing for this to happen very quickly and trying to exploit it as fast as we can. However, it appears that these companies, these AI companies might be hitting a limiting factor being the actual amount of energy they have access to. Now, I did ask ChatGPT some questions here on kind of like just to break down the actual limiting factor of these uh, of these this AI revolution and just the computing power and energy consumption that these data centers actually have. And to break it down for you guys, I asked ChatGPT uh, the energy consumption of one hundred thousand dollar. Uh, NVIDIA H100 GPUs, which is graphics processing units. And these are pretty much the latest computer chips that are uh, being used to power AI, ChatGPT, self-driving car models, things like that, which are the latest and greatest and very expensive things to purchase. I think one one NVIDIA GPU costs about thirty to $40,000. And um, it is extremely efficient for what it does. However, they do consume a lot of energy. So uh, ChatGPT did break down this problem for us and told us that one uh, H100 uh, GPU consumes about 700 watts. Now, a lot of these companies, these AI companies like Tesla, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Amazon, uh, Google, Microsoft, and all these companies, they're buying tens of thousands of these units each, if not over 100,000 or 300,000 like Facebook is. And one company, let's say they were to buy 100,000 of these NVIDIA H100 GPUs, that would be the equivalent of 70 megawatts or 70 million watts, which is insane. That is a huge amount of power that these uh, uh, GPUs are consuming. Now, just alone in quarter two, which is one quarter of one calendar year of 2024, um, NVIDIA sold or shipped approximately 300,000 of these H100 GPUs. To break that down, that's that's 210 megawatts, which is an insane amount of, of power and energy consumption over time. So I asked ChatGPT again, what is the output of an average sized natural gas power plant? And it can range from a simple uh, natural gas turbine as about 50 to 100 megawatts to a very large ones can be 200 to 1000 megawatts or more. So just to break that down for you guys, in one quarter of one calendar year of this year, from one type of GPU source being sold to 
a select handful of companies, uh, that alone consumed about one medium, I would say one medium sized uh, natural gas power plant in terms of power and energy consumption, which is absolutely insane and a huge amount of energy consumption just to fuel that the artificial intelligence arms race that is going on right now. And you extrapolate this amount of power and energy consumption over time and the number of GPUs building, being built over time, not just from companies like NVIDIA, but there's other companies as well. Qualcomm, you have Intel, all these other companies with other companies buying their products to put into data centers. And you extrapolate this over time and the insatiable uh, thirst for artificial intelligence in these GPUs and computer chips to fuel this revolution that's really going on is insane. And if every quarter that we're seeing uh, just from NVIDIA and a few of these tech firms are eating up one power plant every single quarter, uh, this is uh, an insane and almost unsustainable path uh, that where there is not enough energy for all this to take place. And it really makes sense. I mean, just like uh, in the article before, it broke down um, how much energy it takes for a um, for a. Um, uh, chat, chat GPT search versus a Google search, it's 10 times as much. And it really makes sense because when I ask chat GPT a question, it breaks it down and does the research for me instead of me having to go into Google and find exactly what I need and break it down for myself. And now I actually uh, asked chat GPT, how long does it take to build a power plant in the United States? And assuming everything goes well, if, if it's a natural gas power plant, the total time is three to five years for to final construction until you get the energy coming out. For a coal power plant, it's six to nine years. And then for nuclear, eight to 12 years, which is insane. That's like 10% of your life just to get to a new power plant from nuclear sources. Uh, when it comes to renewable energy, that is probably the quickest, about two to four years when uh, after planning, permitting, and construction. So when you extrapolate all this out, let's just say when, when companies like NVIDIA, Intel, and all these uh, computer and GPU companies are building these products and selling them at, let's say, in the unit sizes of millions per year, eventually the, the energy consumption will hit a ceiling where we will not have enough energy to supply this arms race in AI. Now, to counteract all that, to be fair, uh, these uh, chip companies are building more and more efficient GPUs, com uh, computer chips, uh, processing units, and things like that to combat the energy problem. And that's really what it is. It's pretty much an iron versus iron scenario of energy versus better and more efficient computing. And that's really why NVIDIA at the end of the day is such a powerful company because they create the best and most efficient GPUs for what the companies buying them are requesting from them. And while they are super duper advanced and, and um, efficient in terms of what they do, uh, they have a long ways to go when it comes to actually getting better. And when we look at the power consumption of just the human brain, which I actually researched, um, th uh, the human brain actually only uh, consumes about 20 watts of, I think I think it's about 20 watts of power. Doesn't break it down here, but the human brain, right, consumes 20 watts of power, which is 20 watt hours over a period of an hour. And so 20 times, let's say 50 hours of time, right? Let The, the human brain is consuming 20 watts of power and over 50 hours, that's one kilowatt hour because there's 1000 uh, watt hours and one kilowatt hour. And to break it down just how efficient that is, how much do you actually pay as a energy consumer for one kilowatt hour of electricity? Well, if you own a home, you might be paying, let's say 25 cents per kilowatt hour uh, for whatever you might need it for, turning on the lights or whatever it might be. Now, that means your brain is running off of 25 cents of electricity when you break it down like that over a period of 50 hours, which is absolutely insanely efficient and cost efficient, especially compared to something like uh, these uh, NVIDIA GPUs that are trying to train these artificial intelligence models. So these things are still extremely energy uh, 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 consuming or very high demand for electricity for what they do 
relative to the human brain. And that is why the human brain is so important and or, or advanced relative to what is going on here. However, given 5, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years from now, it won't be long until these GPUs and computer chips are surpassing what the human brain can do with the uh, current amount of electricity at their disposal to train off of when it comes to artificial intelligence. And that's why this is such an exciting arms race in the artificial intelligence uh, arena. However, it's also a little bit I don't want to say scary. Well, it is a little bit scary because of what's going on in the pace of it all at the end of the day. But um, anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring up this problem with you all. Just kind of give you guys my thoughts and break down the numbers a little bit for you guys to understand. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. Uh, thank you all so much and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.